hello everyone in this video I will explain real-time system uh, what are real-time system and uh, what are the different types of real-time system so uh, before discussing real-time system just have a look on this term uh, so if we divide our real-time system term so we will get two term real-time and system so you might be wondering what's the real-time and what is unreal time so first of all we will see what is real time so uh, we are having actually two type of notion for time we can represent time in two different ways so first way is quantitative and second is qualitative so quantitative whenever you are representing a time with the help of numbers so when you represent a time in numeric way that is known as quantitative notion well, let's say for example when we explain like uh, this system has to perform within 2 millisecond so here we are specifying numeric so this is quantitative and second one is qualitative uh, so here time is represented with the help of words like uh, before after like if a query is given to a system that system will produce output after that query is processed so here this notion will be using words whereas qu quantitative will be using numeric so in quantitative notion uh, how this uh, numeric time can be achieved so there will be a physical clock and uh, time is quantified with the help of that clock let's say uh, for example nowadays in every car we are getting airbags so whenever a accident occurred so that airbag has to be opened within a microsecond so who will specify that after after accident after lapsing 3 microsecond this bag has to be opened so there has to be a physical clock and qualitative we have seen uh, example like uh, query when a user is giving query to a system that system has to produce its output once it received that query so uh, these were actually specify the sequence of operation there is no particular numeric number used now uh, let's see what is real time system so before going to discuss real time system just discuss a system uh, so, uh, uh, normally when we have a system how we going to identify whether that system is working properly or not we will use that system and output given by that system we will compare that output with the actual output so if both compare it means that system is working perfectly but in case of real time system uh, first thing you need to remember time uh, this system actually uh, in this system time is used to describe behavior of system and which notion of time uh, time is used quantitative notion okay so in real time system quantitative notion of time is used to describe behavior of a system how uh, let's take this example let's say we are having a calculator and we want to see whether this calculator is functioning properly or not so what we will do we will give some input to calculator this calculator will give us some output and we will compare that output with the actual output so we know that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and this calculator also giving this output both are same same way we will do some other operation as well so if all output match we can conclude that our calculator is working properly so here a system's correctness depend on functioning of system only but in real time system a system is considered correct if that system is performing correctly with some time constraint so when this correctness uh, criteria include functioning plus timing constraint those system are actually known as real time system like airbag deployment system that system has to be active within one or two millisecond so there will be a 
time constraint so if that system is working after that time constraint that system will be considered fail so if after 10 millisecond of accident airbag opened in that case this system will be considered fail so here now a new criteria is defined for the correctness of system time plus functioning uh, this is the architecture of real time system uh, we are having sensor this sensor will uh, sense and provide input to input conditioning unit now this uh, signal provided by sensor or data provided by sensor are very low their voltage level is very low so this input conditioning unit it will amplify those signals and provide it to input interface and through this interface real time computer is connected so here all the processing is going on and this one is connected with SCI to which uh, a human can interact so similar we are having for output interface outer inter output interface will provide signal to output conditioning unit this unit will convert those signal according to actuator and then these actuator actually will perform actual work now let's discuss uh, these two uh, features saf safety and reliability so when a system is safe and when a system is not safe so if a system is safe and if failure doesn't lead to any catastrophic situation this one has to be followed in system and the reliability what is reliability reliability is ability to perform its intended task under stated condition or stated duration like if you are buying a system and uh, uh, that system supposed to be functioning for five years so if that system is working perfectly for five years it can be Consider as a reliability. So reliability, how long that uh, system is working perfectly in case of failure as well. So in traditional systems, safety and reliability are two independent issues. But in real time system, these both are coupled. How? So uh, fail safe state. So whenever a system is failed at that time in order to avoid all damage there will be a state and so uh, whenever there is a failure system will enter into that state that state is known as fail safe state now you need to remember this that for all real time system we don't have fail safe state for some real time system there will be this state but for others there won't be any fail safe state like uh, we are having a example of traffic light system so whenever this traffic light system fails system will enter into fail safe state how uh, it will start blinking orange light so when anyone will see that orange light uh, that person would know that traffic controller is not working so proceed with caution so there is a fail safe state but in case of anti missile system uh, in this case if this uh, system fail that would result in a catastrophe that would made a huge damage so here for anti missile system there is no fail safe state once a missile is launched and if there is any problem with this anti missile system with uh, missile interceptor or any kind of problem occurred this uh, will be missed and it would result in a huge damage so there is no fail safe state so these type of system known as safety critical system system for which there is no fail safe state exist those system is known as safety critical system now the question is that if there is no fail safe state how to make sure that that system would not make any damage so the only solution is that we need to increase reliability of those system 
so how can we increase this reliability uh, when we are having a system there are chances that any component of that uh, system stop functioning or the program stored in that system stop functioning there can be a bug so there are multiple ways first is a error avoidance so it is stated that every possibility of error should be minimized during product development but it cannot be achieved like whenever uh, a system is in development some errors are left second one is error detection and removal uh, so this can be achieved like a system can be tested again and again and then on the basis of test result uh, that system can be updated and third one fault tolerance so uh, the thing is that we cannot create a system 100% error free there will be error so if that system is capable of handling its uh, error on its own so in that case uh, reliability can be achieved so we are having two type of fault tolerance for one for hardware another for software so for hardware fault tolerance first approach is that built in self test so this component will test every other component in a system so on the detection of a failure whenever it will find that the one component is not working perfectly it will switch out that component and it will switch in another good component so for that case for every component there will be a redundant copy so whenever one component stop working another component will be used and the second approach triple modular redundancy so it it, uh, it states that for every component three redundant copies of those will be used to run concurrently now uh, let's say in a component uh, sorry in a system that system is performing some task and uh, in that system for every critical component there are three copies so whenever that uh, task is completed at the end voting process is started so it will be seen that uh, out of three uh, if two uh, copy giving one output and one copy giving another output so it will be in the favor of those two copy now the, there is a question like uh, how to achieve software fault tolerance can we use same techniques which are used in hardware fault tolerance so the question is uh, so answer is that we cannot use same technique so uh, so for software fault tolerance there are number of techniques so we are going to see only two so first one is n version programming so in n version programming for every module different different team will work on that module and they will provide uh, different modules for same task and uh, whenever a task has to be completed all those the module will be used and at the end voting of result will decide correctness of the system so this is n version programming and second one recovery block so uh, in recovery block uh, for every module there will be a redundant block and that is also known as try block and every try block compute same result but intentionally return using different algorithm so uh, intentionally during development every team will use different algorithm to calculate same result so this approach is recovery block uh, now uh, let's have a look on types of real time system so how these categories are actually made so these category uh, first see the example of this particular real time system airbag deployment so we know that if this airbag deployment system 
miss its deadline like if this uh, system doesn't work in a particular time period it will be considered failed so what are the consequences missing deadline system will fail and after those time uh, duration if that system is performing there is no use so not accepted now let's see the another example satellite based tracking so in this example satellite will take picture of enemy territory and send it to ground station now uh, let's say the ground station is uh, busy in processing received images and meanwhile in new images are received from the satellite and that system actually missed to process those images and uh, so in that case what will happen that system will not be considered failed but the result after deadline those result will not accept it like if a satellite has sent some images at a particular time and that ground station not able to process those images so after some time that satellite will again send the images so what this ground station will do that ground station will discard the previous images and it will accept the new one so our system will not be considered as failed but whatever result it's getting after deadline those result not accepted and the third one online ticket reservation system so in this system uh, we can say that when we try to reserve any seat it will take 20 to 30 second now if that system is taking more time let's say that system actually took 40 second or 50 second and after 50 second uh, that system actually booked seat successfully so here there is no role of deadline here if the deadline is missed system will not consider it failed and uh, after that deadline as well if the reservation is successful after 30 seconds so it actually missed this deadline after that deadline as well result accepted so we are having three types of real time system so and these category actually decided on the basis of this one whether the results are accepted after deadline or not and what are the consequences so on the basis of these three we are having three different type of real time system hard real time system firm real time system and soft real time system so hard real time system says that if the system missed its deadline that system will be considered failed soft real time system says that if the system missed its deadline that system will not be considered failed and result also accepted and in case of firm real time system if system missed its deadline system is not considered failed but late results simply discarded so the example we have seen airbag deployment comes under hard real time system satellite tracking firm real time system and online reservation soft real time system thank you very much for watching